So there are seven brand building principles that separate the best brands from all the rest of them. The first is that great brands start inside. I mean that great brands start brand building by cultivating a strong brand-led culture inside their organizations before they ever communicate anything to the outside world. And the second action is great brands avoid selling products. Um, you know, human beings are emotional beings. We make decisions based on how products make us feel and the identities that they enable us to express and experience. So great brands don't push their products on people. They actually kind of seduce people through an emotional connection. Great brands ignore trends. They know that if they follow a trend, they're going to end up doing what everyone else is doing and often get blinded to what really is a new breakthrough idea. So instead they ignore trends, they challenge trends, they advance their own movements and then everyone else follows them. Um, great brands don't chase customers. They know better than to kind of squander their precious brand equity by chasing after elusive audiences. Instead, they're very clear about what they stand for and attract people to them. Uh, action number five, great brands sweat the small stuff in their customer experiences because all the big things that they promise in their advertising are going to be outweighed by the small things that they do for someone in person every day. Um, great brands never have to give back. Um, you know, giving back is such a commonplace term now and it means you know, to do good as a corporation, but great brands want to be great. So they're actually creating positive social impact in the very way that they do business, so they don't have to take with one hand and then give back with the other. And then seven is great brands commit and stay committed to the core of their brand. They don't get distracted from doing what's right for their brand. There are three myths that need to be replaced by three truths. So the first myth is that um, customers only want lower prices. And that's just not true. I think that customers are saving more, but they really want companies to over deliver and exceed their expectations. And the opportunity is if you exceed those expectations, you don't have to lower your prices. The second myth is that we just can't grow in this environment. And with the Brazilian economy the way that it is, as well as the political instability um, and some of the corruption problems, it may seem like growth is hard. But I think if you challenge yourself to change, you can still grow. So the second myth of you can't grow is not true. You can grow if you challenge yourself to change. And then the third myth is that we just need to do more marketing. And you know, um, more activity doesn't necessarily mean to lead to more impact. Uh, the Gap, the retail chain, is a great example of a company that has had great advertising and spent a lot of money on it, but their performance has really suffered and, and struggled. And um, So just because they're spending a lot on advertising doesn't mean that they're actually making an impact with customers. So instead of doing more marketing, you need to build your brand the way great brands do. And that's where the brand as business management approach comes in, where if you put your brand at the center of your organization, you can really um, transform what you do and transform relationship you have with your customers.